Some of the best surgeons that I ever worked with were left-handed, and then they overcame that limitation by learning how to be ambidextrous in the OR. And because they could use both hands with equal ability, they were able to speed up parts of the operation and be much more precise than a person who never learned to use both hands. So what if we could identify our weaknesses in our non-dominant hand and then really hone that skill to make yourself a more effective surgeon? You don't know how well you can do something with your left hand until you force yourself to use a coloring book. This is one of the exercises that we came up with that does not have to use surgical instruments, but the dexterity benefits can transfer over to when you're operating. One of the best things about it is that it's fun and that it's also very affordable. I use my non-dominant hand in the same way that I would hold a pair of forceps or bovine DOR and apply it to the coloring book. Also, one of the greatest benefits of these exercises is that you don't have to wait to become a surgeon or even a resident to start doing something like this at home. I think actually the best time to start exercising your non-dominant hand is before you start your training when you have more time and reserve and plasticity. One thing that you can do to really simulate being in the OR is to hold a color pencil high up in the same way that you would hold surgical instruments. And furthermore, instead of like a regular pencil where you have the luxury of resting your hand on the table or on the board, um, try to lift it up in the air and use other muscles to stabilize your motions.